Okay, so here we are, the miscellaneous uh, questions. This is section G from the, from the test. This is question two. So this is a third question, and we need to write our form in this form. So we need to keep it in an exact form, and we're looking to work out where C and D are, and they have to be integers, i.e. whole numbers. So let's look at this, and then let's realise that it's probably best. Well, let's write it out. Root 3 times y all over root 7 minus 1 is equal to root 7 plus 1. Well, let's... We want to get y on its own, so why don't we just multiply by the denominator of this fraction, so we get root 3 times y, which is not the really the best way to write that. Um, I don't like the way they've written that in the question. So I would write it as y root 3. Just my personal opinion root 7 plus 1, and I'm multiplying by root 7 minus 1. So I've got a double bracket here, so I've got y root 3 is equal to root 7 times root 7 is root 49, which is just 7. Then I'm going to get plus root 7 minus root 7 from those multiplications, and then plus 1 times minus 1 is minus 1. You can see that those cancel, so I get y root 3 is equal to 7 minus 1, which is 6. Wow, suddenly it's a lot simpler. If I want to get y on its own, just divide by root 3, so y is equal to 6. Oh, hello, bit of a lag. 6 divided by root 3. So, now I want to write it in the form c root d. So I don't want to have a root on the bottom, I want to have a root on the top. So I'm going to rationalise this using some of the skills that we learned in section e, I believe. So, keep the value the same. I'm going to times it by 1, but my 1 is going to be root 3 over root 3. Which is going to give me 6 root 3 on top, and then it's going to give me on the bottom, it's going to give me root 3 times root 3, which is root 9, just 3. So we've got the expression y is equal to 6 root 3 over 3. Not quite done, because I can simplify that. y is equal to 6 divided by 3 is 2, so 2 root 3. So it's in this form now. If we compare that, c root d, we can instantly see that c, that wasn't a pun, c is 2 d is 3, and then it fits into this expression here. And there we're done. Okay, so we're using our thirds knowledge, using a bit of algebra skills, and then we're using some thirds uh, rationalizing to get it into the correct form at the end.